In this video, then, I'll introduce another type of integral of a vector field. That's a surface integral. Um, the notation will be the uh, integral uh, over a surface of a vector field dotted into a vector surface element. Or if the surface is a closed surface, then we'll use this uh, circle around the integral uh, of u dot ds. So an open surface and a closed surface. Later we'll see that closed surfaces play a very important role in uh, some of the calculations we do. Um, U is our vector field, so in order to consider this as a summation, an integral is a sum, uh, what is this ds vector? This uh, ds vector is a uh, small amount of uh, ds, which means that it's a small element of area, so you have a surface and you can break the surface up into small uh, elements of area, and so ds is going to be an area of one of those small elements, but it has to be a vector. So what is the definition of the vector ds is that this has a normal vector associated with it. So in the case of a closed surface, the normal vector will be the outward facing normal vector to the surface. So normal means that if you have a plane a tangent to the surface, the vector uh, perpendicular to that plane is the normal vector. All surfaces have two normal vectors, one going in one direction, the other one in the opposite direction. Um, in the case of an open surface, you have to specify which normal vector you're considering. In, this, in the case of a closed surface, by convention, the normal vector will always be the outward-facing normal. Okay, why are surface integrals important? They're also known as a flux, and in fact, uh, the most important one maybe is called the mass flux. So the mass flux is computed as a surface integral of the density, say, of a fluid, for instance, the density of the fluid times the velocity of the fluid dotted into ds. So that's the mass flux through the surface. If the density is the mass per unit volume, the velocity is the length per unit time, and the uh, surface is uh, length squared is an area. So this is a mass per unit volume times a volume per unit time, this works out to be a mass per unit time. And that is uh, the mass flux, the amount of mass passing through this surface per unit time. This is a widely computed uh, quantity uh, in fluid mechanics. Okay. Um, so in order to put this uh, in, uh, in an example, uh, let's work a specific case. So here's the example I want to do. Compute the surface integral of the position vector r, xi plus yj plus zk, over a square box centered at the origin with sides parallel to the axes and side lengths l. So here is a rough drawing of the box. The origin of the coordinate system is supposed to be in the middle of the box, and the length of all of these sides is supposed to be L. So the box goes from uh, uh, minus L over 2 to L over 2 in each of the coordinate directions. OK, so this is a closed integral, so we want to compute uh, the closed integral over this box, so over this surface, which is the box, of uh, the uh, vector field R, so R dotted into ds. So ds are the normal vectors on the six surfaces of this box, right? This box has six sides. It's one surface, but it has six sides. 
So we have to compute r dot ds over the six sides. r is always pointing, you know, outward from the origin. And I think you can see from the symmetry, the ds's are always pointing normal to, outward normal to these faces, that it doesn't matter uh, which face we compute, they're all the same, right? So the value of r dot ds uh, uh, calculated on each of these six faces will all have the same value just by the symmetry of this box and the symmetry of the position vector. So let's just compute this across one of the faces. So let me call this face out here, we'll call that um, S1. Okay, so we'll compute this one uh, around uh, the surface integral uh, on S1, but we have six of them, so this will be six times the surface integral on S1 of R dot ds. So what is ds for S1? Um, the normal vector for this front face is going to be pointing in the positive x direction. So the unit vector will be i. And then the surface element in, of this front face, it has a little bit of y and a little bit of z. So it will be dy dz. Okay? So that's the ds for this uh, front face, okay? And what is the value of r on that face, right? So r is the position vector. The value of the x position is uh, always the same for every uh, ds element on this face. x is, is going to be fixed. The x-coordinate is fixed because the uh, length of the box is L and the midpoint uh, of the box, and the coordinate system is in the midpoint of the box, the length is going to be L over 2. So the X position is L over 2, uh, I for the coordinate, plus uh, Y will vary then, so Y times J plus Z times K. Okay. Now this integral is r dot ds. So r dot ds, because ds is only in the i direction, r dot ds just picks out the i component of r, which is L over 2. Okay. So we get the integral over this surface of r dot ds is then going to be 6. And then we have to do a double integral over that surface face. Um, y and z, both of them go from minus L over 2 to L over 2, because the origin is in the middle. So minus L over 2 to L over 2, minus L over 2 to L over 2. R dot ds will be L over 2. And then we have the integral here will be dy dz, okay? A double integral to do. We know how to do double integrals. This one is particularly easy. The L over 2 is just a constant. So the integral dy just gives you the length of the uh, interval. The integral dz gives you the length of the inter interval. The lengths of the intervals are L. So we get a L squared times an L over 2, which is a L cubed over 2 times 6, which will give us 3 times L cubed. Okay, so let me review here. We're learning a new type of integral. It's called a surface integral. Sometimes it's called a flux integral, mainly because of this quantity mass flux, which is a the density of a fluid times the velocity of, of the fluid dotted into the surface element ds. So this surface integral, sometimes called a flux integral, is done 
by figuring out um, what is r.ds and then converting it into a, uh, a two-dimensional integration. A surface has uh, two dimensions. I'm Jeff Chasnoff. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.